Welcome back guys. This is Wolfire Studios back at it again with another devlog. And this time I have some small updates for you. Yes, uh they're not that big, but yeah. Apart from that, I would like to show you guys something else. This is the title art for my game. And if you were not aware of the name, it is Salvation Hours and I tried, you know, giving it a unique touch with the R glass. Uh it is subject to change. uh because you know the layout or the fonts or something but it will be similar to this whatever the final title may be it will be similar to this although i like this very much and it's my copyright so yeah that's it guys that's all i wanted to show you um anyways now let's just quickly move on to the actual update i would like to show you guys and along with that the workflow behind the new stuff that i'm doing so let's just quickly rotate and see the two new buildings here first of all we have the entrance archway i mean i'm calling it an entrance archway but i don't know uh, what exactly i should call it as you can see it's sim a simple uh, brick whatever you know wall material and a simple building very simple as usual i made it in blender the door is uh, a bit short um it's by design it's how i saw the things here and if you will carefully notice the details here aren't looking that bad right i mean they are not perfect you know like something like an 8k resolution or something no but they do look decent as you can see the reflectivity the normal maps they look better they look better you know far better than what they are uh, you know let's say here they look even worse right this this detail looks better maybe marginally 10 to 15% but yeah it looks better or maybe look at these metal rods see they look much much better than the ones on 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 consulate consulate building yeah and even the window frame and let's just quickly see the second building this is the uh this was actually titled feb 17 barrack but the story behind this is that the consulate was guarded quote and quote you know guarded by some libyan mountain blue mountain security guards and i guess two or three uh, feb 17 guards feb 17 is a militia a local militia that rose after the fall of gaddafi uh, you can say not exactly after i mean near near the end of his fall or i should say the end of his reign feb 17 was formed and they are the local militia so they you know act as a muscle as the uh, you can say henchmen of not exactly the right word but you get the point right so uh, american diplomatic security posted them here so they have this barrack right in front of the consulate it's not far off and yeah there is a uh, even two more things that are missing right now one is the uh, metal shed that was here that was used to park the vehicles right here and the front entrance main gate because well without gate it makes no sense right so yeah i know even two things are missing and i know i told you guys last time that uh, there will be the special uh, annex wall and i haven't made it yes i was busy over the weekend uh, don't worry i'll do it this week i'll have to and let's again notice some details as you can see these rusted iron you know metal bars they look better even they they really look better right we'll have to admit see even the reflections okay the spots you know the like the destruction or i should say the damaged spots yeah they don't look that good but other than that it's looking much better than consulate over there even especially the dirt you know the dirt symbols here the dirt marks and everything and the tiles okay not exactly you know that good but it is better it is marginally better we'll have to have to admit even if i compare it with this as you can see this tile looks so much low poly and same as with this one this is extremely low poly like super low poly so you know this one's better let me just quickly show it to you guys in action there is a lot of fluctuation here yeah it's better now so let's just first move to the barrack marble tiles staircase and the first door as you can see the wooden door even the doors look better right 
see the dust the crunch they look so much better you know the wear and tear and i'll tell you guys the secret why do they look better and as you can see the dirt splotches here and the window oh my god again it looks so good yeah kind of reminiscing of the last devlog let's just quickly move out don't worry guys of course i'll add lighting later on see it looks so better so much better now oh no yeah same is with this side of the room as you can see here there's a wall here if you guys can see let me just quickly open the door back again as you can see there is a wall here and this is the window you know this uh, global illumination lumen is inside unreal engine and it actually helps in the way light reflects and bounces off let's just quickly see the entrance archway and i'll tell you about the workflow so this is the entrance archway as you can see a lot of cracks and crevices around here because it's an old thing this is the room the metal door for security added security you can say and the window to see whoever's coming in you know and another window to see the insides if needed yeah i forgot to add the collision here uh my bad i'm sorry this wall is missing collision actually the rest of the building has collision as you can see see you see the green line traces so rest of the building has collision i forgot to put a wall here never mind so yeah that is the overall update not much i agree but this isn't even the highlight for this update the actual highlight is let's just quickly go to blender and see this is the model right let me just switch it to studio this is the model okay this is the door let me just quickly hide it let's assume that i want to texture this model and i want to have good details okay so i learned about a new thing if you guys again follow me on twitter you might have noticed that i made a tweet about the same thing asking that is there a way to you know enhance the details or is there a way to improve my uv workflow and lo and behold we have udims here as you can see udims they are the actual you know savior i should say you know what let me just the old one we have the old one no i don't think so that we have the old one. yeah it's okay it's not a big deal what i can do is you know as you can see here all you have to do is just you know cancel this and then and then like open a new image here since i already made the udim one i'll rather make a new one and i'll call it udim like this set the texture resolution i am setting it to 4k set it to tiled and press ok so as you can see you have one udim tile which goes by the simple array counting 1001 now since i need how many more do i need um 1 2 3 4 five six seven i need seven more right so i'll go to n panel i'll go here and i'll add seven if i want to change the color i will i'll rather make it you know a little bit blue or cyan and i'll click ok and i'll have seven more tiles as you can see with proper numbering as you can see uh, one zero zero six one zero zero seven and so on and so forth so what actually happens here is you are spreading your details, spreading your UVs across multiple maps called UDIMs and you are, you know, enhancing the overall quality or enhancing the, the details that you have overall. Like, let's just quickly move back to Unreal and show you guys the floor if at all possible. Maybe I can open it in the material editor. Yeah. So as you guys can see, I mean, the lighting isn't proper here, but the details on the floor are better, are much, much better than any other building right now that I have in my game. So that is the exact same thing. Why? Because this, this floor is actually this. So as you can see, this is a unique UV map. Okay. 1002. And on it, uh, approximately, I should say 80, 85% is being captured by this single 
plane which is this side the top side hence we get a lot of details and that's the secret like if you really want to have you know good amount of details in your model you just have to use udims and it's very simple to get it in unreal engine as well i can just quickly explain it to you guys all you have to do just uh, go to your project settings okay go to rendering i guess it is here and find virtual textures you just have to enable this and all of the settings leave all of them at default uh, you'll have to restart the editor let all the shaders compile really it took me around 40 45 minutes to compile all those 15000 shaders just let them compile and after that whenever you will upload any texture that has udem information it will have this vt symbol on it okay the textures will work in the exact same manner the normal map or the albedo or the you know roughness metallic they all will work in the same manner they'll just have vt attached to them and the good part is you don't even have to you know like import all of them as you can see this is the door texture okay but you can see that it says the source file is base color 1001 and 1002 and let's just take this one for example the uh, entrance one as you can see it has total of eight you know source files although i just have uploaded this one just once oh okay yeah so as you can see what you're actually doing is what you're doing is you're up you know uploading this one the first one but it will pick the others here and it will upload it simple as that so yeah that is the thing about udims it's very easy to fetch them in blender you just have to you know pick it up here and assign all of your uvs in the required tiles and then just export the fpx normally uh the way i do things is basically all of these objects are different okay like this object this object this object these they are different okay as you can see they are separate objects but what i do i just give them the respective vertex group so that i can identify let's say uh, arch as you can see this was a separate object made from a cylinder so that i can identify them and give them the proper vertex color i just uh, make give them a vertex group and then when i merge them like it's easy to identify when you merge them you just have to go to the you know vertex paint menu and you can assign a color simple as that i'll try to link a video uh i am able to find it if not i'll try to make a simple workflow tutorial for you guys but yeah that's it and then i just send it to substance painter substance will preserve the uv workflow you can just texture it and voila it's done simple i'll make a small tutorial for it don't worry okay and that's it guys that's pretty much it uh, that's all i wanted to show you guys next up i'll be making the front door here the wall and one more thing if i'm missing maybe the back gate yeah the back gate and once i'm done with that like right right before the landscape i'll be retexturing this consulate so that may take me a day or two max maximum a day one single day i'll just have to open the file and and reassign those uvs because the model is actually perfect the way it is it's just the textures are in good you know and i'll i'll see to it what i can do right and that's it guys uh yeah that's it i'll make the tutorial don't worry and thanks for watching see you guys in the next one cheers